Welcome back to We Talk Boxing. So this is just a quick post-fight analysis of the Lennox Clark versus the Mark Heffern fight, where congratulations obviously goes to Mark Heffern for becoming the new British and Commonwealth, as well as the IBF International Super Middleweight Champion. So well done, congratulations, okay? So this was a classic, classic, brilliant, you know what I mean, clash of styles between, you know what I mean, the boxer versus the puncher, where the boxer is obviously, you know what I mean, Mark Heffron in this case, and the puncher was Lennox Clark. Now the fight started at a fast pace, with Lennox Clark and Mark Heffron both coming out, you know what I mean, from as soon as the bell went, both coming out and landing and throwing some big shots on one another. And, you know what I mean, to be honest, I actually felt as if um, Lennox Clark started the brightest and kind of put, you know what I mean, put Mark Heffern at un unease, put him off his game plan. But, you know what I mean, probably about two minutes in, do you know what I mean, Mark Heffern obviously regained his senses and then got back onto his boxing skills and started throwing that jab. And it was that jab what that was causing, you know what I mean, Lennox Clark a lot of problems. And, you know what I mean... From there, it just allowed Heffern, you know what I mean, to land his big shots on Lennox Clark. And to be honest, Clark was very lucky, to, you know what I mean, to escape the first round. You know what I mean, I felt as if, you know what I mean, he was getting wobbled left, right and centre. The referee could have potentially have, do you know what I mean, like, you know what I mean, gave him a count at least because he was all over the place, to be fair. But he survived and obviously continued to box as well. But, you know what I mean, I have to talk about the durability of both boxers. And to be honest, it was brilliant. Do you know what I mean? Both guys took some big shots. But, you know what I mean, for me, up until the stoppage, you know what I mean, Clark showed, for me, probably the better chin, to be fair, because he was taking some massive shots. Do you know what I mean? Heffron was literally lighting him up for fun. Literally like a Christmas tree. And, you know what I mean, in the fourth, you know what I mean, in the fourth round, you know what I mean, at this point, you know what I mean, I've, like Clark could have been stopped, do you know what I mean? And Clark was down three rounds to one. Do you know what I mean? Like Heffron, you know what I mean? Um, like won the first for me, the third and the fourth quite convincingly, landing the bigger shots and just outworking his man at times, you know what I mean? Um and I think it kind of showed, do you know what I mean? Like the work rate, like I said, was coming mainly from from Heffron and Clark was, you know what I mean, he was the puncher, you know what I mean, he was looking for that big shot, that big haymaking shot, and his work rate was really low, and he was, you know what I mean, he played into Heffern's, um, yeah, Heffern's hands, because, you know what I mean, he was just throwing that jab and lighting him up, throwing the better combinations, the better boxing skills, and he had power as well, and he's, like I said, his work rate was very high, and it caused Clark loads of, of trouble, do you know what I mean? Now, like I said, that lack of amateur career in Clark, you know what I mean, showed his boxing skills were none and void, really. And, do you know what I mean, it, it, was, it, was, it was interesting. But Clark, you know what I mean, he showed a lot of heart and a lot of courage, you know what I mean, to withstand those shots and stay in there as long as he did because any other man potentially would have got stopped. But, you know what I mean, some people will probably moan about the stoppage, but personally, I feel as if it was a good stoppage because, you know what I mean, like, Clark got caught, you know what I mean, with some big shots. I think it was the uppercut that caught him. And then, obviously, he wobbled back, stepped back and stuff. And at that point, you know what I mean, he kind of stumbled onto the ropes. And, you know what I mean, like, Heffern threw, I think it was the right hand, kind of missed. But then he, he, he countered again with the left and the right. And those two big shots were just enough for the referee to, to stop the contest. And um, for me, like I said, it was a right stoppage. Some people will say it was premature. But Clark was already... You know what I mean? He was already dazed. He was already wobbled. His legs had gone, and he wasn't throwing back. So he didn't really give the the referee much choice. Whereas in the earlier rounds, the first, the third, the fourth, do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Even though he was getting wobbled and he was getting hurt, do you know what I mean? He was still throwing back, which the referee couldn't really do much about. Yeah, but as I said, you know what I mean? Like, I personally feel as if it was the right stoppage. Um, you know what I mean? Heffron at that stage would have just continued to just to pile, pile on a lot more pressure and maybe would have even potentially have caused more damage for Clark. But you never know. Um, but like I says, both boxers, it was a good performance from Heffron. Um, he is now obviously the British and Commonwealth and IBF super middleweight. Um, that's IBF silver, by the way. Middleweight, super middleweight champion. Um, you know what I mean? Like, where... 
do the girl now, you know what I mean? Heffern most likely will want to try and fight some potentially, um, you know what I mean, some world level opposition to try and get himself up in the rankings and maybe fight and challenge one day for a world title. But honestly, because of the stoppage, potentially this could maybe, you know what I mean, I could see a rematch potentially, you know what I mean? Obviously, uh, Clark's going to, you know what I mean, say it was premature and his team and stuff, so... You know what I mean, I think that I think we will potentially see a rematch, and it, you know what I mean that's just going to potentially halt. You know what I mean, put a little halt onto uh, Heffern's career slightly by one more fight. But um, yeah, I think the rematch. I'd like to see it. I think if in that rematch, if it does happen, obviously Clark has to come out and change his game plan. I think he has to work a little bit more. He has to, you know, what I mean, work on his jab and try and improve that jab because it was none and void really, you know what I mean? I it was always at you know what I mean multiple times in the fight, always looking for that big shot and you know what I mean against the fighter like Heffron, you know what I mean, he's got a good work rate, he's got good combinations, he's got good, you know what I mean, hand speed and power. You know what I mean? You have to you have to try and match that and so I think his team would potentially work on that if the if the rematch does get called. So, you know what I mean, Heffern now, you know what I mean, he's got a fairly decent record, 28 and 2. So he's had two losses on his record with one draw. 22 KOs now, you know what I mean, his two losses were um, KOs as well. Where he, I think he challenged as well for British title in both of those as well. And they were both KO losses as well. So, But, you know what I mean, there's, there's potential there for him to, to try and fight maybe some sort of world level honour type of fighter. But who knows really. And Clark, obviously, is now 20, 22 and 1. So, you know what I mean? He's also had two losses now on his record. One of them was a KO. He's also got that one draw in his record as well. But he hasn't had as many KOs. So, if he, you know what I mean, get, gets the rematch, fair play to him. If not, you know what I mean? There's some other decent guys in that division who he could potentially fight. And there's a few more decent paydays there for him. But, he, you know what I mean? Work rate definitely needs to work on. But anyway, this is just a short video just to let you know my post-fight thoughts. Let me know your thoughts, you know what I mean, how you saw the fight going, you know what I mean. Do you do you think Clark deserves a rematch? Do you know what I mean? If not, who would you like Heffern to, to go up against next? Please subscribe, like, comment and share. Bless.